Family and Relatives Vocabulary What's for dinner tonight? Tonight we will have spicy chicken and salmon salad. Wow, so yummy! All right, sit down everybody, dinner's ready. This food is really good! Thank you. This afternoon I went to the supermarket and I also bought ice cream. Ice cream? Yes, that's right. What flavor of ice cream did you buy? I bought chocolate flavored. Oh my gosh, I love it, mommy! After eating dinner, we will eat ice cream. Okay! Here's your ice cream. Wow, thank you. So, how was your day at the office, dear? It was the same as usual. You seem different today. Everything all right? Yes, dear, everything is fine. I just had a busy day at the office. Okay. How about you? How was your day? Did you do anything interesting today? Oh, I learned a new recipe on the internet today. I'm thinking of trying it for dinner tomorrow. Interesting. What is that recipe? Grilled chicken. That is wonderful, dear. Can't wait to try it out. Who comes at this time? I do not know. Let me open the door. Okay. Wendy? Good evening, Helen. Good evening, Auntie Helen. Why are you and Kevin here with the luggage? What happened? I argued with Tim. Arguing with my brother-in-law? Then you've been running away from home? Yeah, right. Oh, Wendy, you are acting like a child. I and Tim had a big argument. I'm very angry. Can I stay for a few days? Ugh, come on in. Give me the suitcase. Thanks, Helen. Now, tell me the details. Tim and I argued because Tim does not spend enough time with me these days. What do you mean? Tim is too focused on work and doesn't spend time with me and my son. So, what did he say? He said he was very busy, and when he got home, he was exhausted. All he thinks about is work. So, you decided to run here? Yeah. I want him to come here and beg me to come home. How long are you going to stay here? I want to stay for two weeks. Is that okay? Okay. Helen, come with me. I want to tell you something. What's the matter, honey? Why did you let your sister stay here? She had no place to stay. You know, she and I don't get along. She is so... you know. Yes, I know, dear. I know she is so fastidious and difficult to please. Even our nephew is so naughty. Our house will become a mess. Come on, John. She needs our help. Who knows when she will leave? Just two weeks, or even less. Maybe we can call Tim to come pick her up after a few days. But all the inconvenience... Oh, I really don't want to. Come on, John, just this once. Let her stay here for a few days. All right. But they better not make any mess here. Give me the toys. No, I'm playing with them. Give it to me. I want to play it too. No, I won't. <gasps> Steven, are you okay? Yes, Daddy. Are you hurt? 
No, Daddy. Kevin, what are you doing? He's your cousin. Why did you do that? Steven didn't give me the toys. Those are Steven's toys. You are so naughty. Mommy! Mommy! Kevin, why are you crying? Uncle John scolded me! Why did you scold your nephew? Kevin took the toy and shoved Steven. The kids were just joking around. No, I saw Kevin shove my son down with my own eyes. But you can't scold Kevin for that. You're scaring your nephew. Calm down, calm down. Why, Quirrell? We are parents. Don't argue in front of the kids. Your husband scolded my son. Your husband started it. You. Calm down, John. And Wendy, you and Kevin go to your room. Good morning, Mommy. Good morning, dear. Good morning, everybody. Sit down and eat breakfast. What did you make? All I make is oatmeal toast and some orange juice. That sounds nice. I like it. Are Kevin and Steven at home today? Yes, Uncle John. You both remember to get along, okay? Yes, I remember. And remember not to touch the computer in the reading room. I'm loading a very important document there. Yes. Kevin, Stephen, you guys go play in the backyard. I will be using the computer in the reading room, okay? Mommy? Yes, I am here. We are hungry. What will we eat? We're going to out to eat. KFC. Yeah, that's great! Steven, do you like it? Yes, my mother never let me eat fast food. All right, wait for me and we'll go. John, why do you look so angry? Who used the computer today? I don't know. Steven, did you use the computer? No, Daddy. Today, I and Kevin went out to play. So, Wendy, did you use and shut down the computer? No, I didn't. Really? Yeah. Wendy, this morning, Kevin and Steven went out. My wife went to work and only you at home. Okay. Okay, that's right. I turned it off. But it was just by accident. Why did you turn off the computer? I told you not to turn off my computer. I forgot. I'm sorry, okay? You were always causing trouble. I said that document is very important to me. You come here and mess things up. Relax. You can download that document again. It's no big deal. Wendy! John, control yourself. Before we can debate this matter, you're all going to have to chill out. John, please come with me. Keep calm and relax tension. She must have forgotten, so she turned off the computer. She always annoys me. She's only been here for a few days. Don't be such a pettiness. I'm petty? She's just my sister-in-law, not my mom. John. The house turned upside down when she and her son arrived. She was so lazy, messy, and also very noisy. I'm wondering why your brother-in-law can stand her. If I were him, I'd be divorced. Pay attention to your words. You are losing control. Do you know what you just said? She is leaving today. 
Stop. John, your words make me unbearable. Why can you say those words? She is my sister. Now you're on her side? I'm not defending anyone. But you are making a fuss. You're so selfish. I can't stand this anymore. I'm leaving. I won't be back till she leaves. Fine. Helen, did John call you? He didn't text or call me. I'm sorry. It's okay. I have thought carefully. I'm the one to blame, and I will make peace with my husband. That's good. I'm extremely sorry for upsetting John. Don't worry. He's just angry, and he calms down. He will return home. I think you should take the initiative to make peace with him. Let's go find him right now. Yeah, you're right. I will go find him. We should go together. I want to say sorry, too. Oh, you don't have to if you don't want. Come on. It was because of me that you had an argument. Okay, Wendy. We will go to talk to Tim first, and then we go to find John. What do you say? That sounds pretty good. Let's go. Should we take the kids with us? Take Kevin and Steven to our grandparents' house. They also miss their children very much. Great idea. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Let's go. Woohoo! What's that sound? I don't know. Why is it so loud in here? Who's in there with Tim? Oh no. Wendy? Wendy, don't rush in. <gasps> oh, you're back. John, why are you here? What is all this about? We are watching baseball together. That's right. John came here two days ago and we had a talk. After that, we decided to stay together for a few days. By the way, do you want to be angry for another week or two? Right. The baseball league has only just begun. <laughs>